Hi, Dee Dee Explores here. We're in search of the graves with escape hatches. I'm up here in central PA. Um, there's a whole family that was buried up here. It's a very old cemetery. They were buried up here. And they were so afraid of being buried alive, they built their graves with escape hatches. And we're in the cemetery and we're going to try to find it. Here's another beautiful crypt. Big nice mausoleum. Got some really nice ones in this cemetery. Well, up by Williamsport, there were a lot of millionaires here because of the lumber business. And it kind of shows in the cemetery, a GAR, Grand Army of the Republic. Got a veteran in there too. Here's another beautiful one. Cochran, 1896. Okay, so we got a mama and a baby. As you can see, there are some very unique and unusual and fancy crypts in this cemetery. This one is Barclay. This is the American Legion section of the cemetery. I think it's great that they honor the veterans in such a special way. They have a flag on every tombstone. It's wonderful. It's a great honor for them. I'm not sure how many graves are here, but they do have a lot of space open for new ones. But it's just really nice that they have a special section for them. And all the flags are in good shape. They upkeep the cemetery very well. Okay, I see a plain blue flag down there. I need to see what that is. Go see what that is. Okay, I'm not sure what that flag is. I need to look at that. Air Force. Got an Air Force flag. We have a memorial over here. Garrett Cochran, post number one. I guess that's the Legion that's takes care of this. Like I said, there are some truly amazing crypts here. This one has, it's got quite a bit of land around there. Truly, truly beautiful. And up here we have some more. Well, we found it. Here's the Purcell family. Uh, the father, Thomas, was a firefighter. He, uh, he was afraid that his family would be buried alive. You know, they had that sleeping sickness way back when. And people would be buried alive. And he built these. They call them oven graves. 
he built these with escape hatches. There was a lever in there. And if you were buried alive, you just pulled the lever and the hatch would open and you would be able to escape. Thomas Purcell. There's Albert. I mean, I'm sorry, Thomas. Died in 1930. Oh, it looks like eight. Lita. John. Looks like he was Navy. Susanna. Danielle. Daniel. But this is this is really unique. I mean, I've never heard of anything like this before. I've heard of uh, you know, they used to put like a string down through the dirt and then into the coffin and you pull the string and a little bell would ring above the ground and people would be in the graveyards just listening for bells to ring to see if anybody was buried alive. That's where they got the uh, expression, the graveyard shift from. But this is so, so, so unusual. And on top, there's a little air vent. So they could breathe, I guess. If they woke up, they could breathe. They wouldn't suffocate. Okay, climbed up the hill. And this is the top of the crypt. You can see the air vent. They said that uh, when they bury the family members, they... They put some food and water in there with them, just in case they woke up. They put some water, wine, and a loaf of bread. Kind of all the comforts of home, huh? And then you pull the lever for the escape hatch, and then you can get out. Really unique stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap up this video now. I hope you enjoyed it. This cemetery is huge. If you ever come up here, make sure you bring a lunch and a bottle of water. It's got some really interesting uh, crypts, mausoleums, headstones. It's really nice and peaceful. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Peace, baby.